another book tag for you. Obviously, it's the Christmas break, so apart from eating too much and possibly drinking a little bit too much, the other thing that I've found people tend to do is binge watch everything. Um, so I am doing the Netflix book tag today. I found this on the Book Nuts blog. I will leave a link to her site down below, and please go and check it out because it's really good and really. There's a lot going on on there, so I think it's worth going and looking at anyway. But anyway, it's a list of questions related around Netflix, but obviously instead of giving a TV program for your answer, you give a book. So, here we go. Question one is recently watched. I can tell you the last thing I, I watched was actually on Netflix, and that was The Big Bang Theory. So there we go. But this is my most recently finished book, and that is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Deo. I've done a review for this. You can check that out on my book review um, playlist. Very enjoyable. Question two is your top picks. Um, I would say for Netflix, um, watch The Expanse, because that is just awesome. But there we go. Uh, so this is a book recommendations based on what you've read. This one I had to go for a little bit of digging with, because... I've sort of picked up books, but they haven't been directly recommended to me. I had to sort of think about it for a little while. And I've come up with a couple. The Time Key by Melanie Bateman was recommended to me based on the fact I'd liked, I think it was the St. Mary's Chronicles. Somebody actually said, check this book out, you'll probably really enjoy it. So that is on my track down and read list. And then Arabella of Mars by David D. Levine um, came up because I'd mentioned I really like Kim Stanley Robinson. And on a Google search, this series came up. Apparently there's going to be quite a few of these series. But it's kind of, uh, again, a hopeful, futuristic world. Um, but slightly steampunkish, this one. So it kind of ticks both my boats, that one. Okay, question three is recently added. So on Netflix, what have I recently added? Um... Probably Stranger Things, because I do want to binge watch that. Um, but this is my most recent buy of a book. The last book that I can remember has been buying me are these two. Uh, Lies, Damn Lies and History by Jodie Taylor and Mistress of All Evil by Serena Valentino. This is part of the Disney Twisted Tales series. This is from the St. Mary's Chronicles series. And my husband's really lovely and picks up books for me left, right and centre anyway. Question four, is popular on Netflix? I can tell you whenever I go in, it's usually Star Trek, um, Stranger Things, Sense8. They're like the big ones that keep popping up. But this is a book that I have read and a book that I have not read. And they're both popular. So I've picked two from the same series. The book that's popular that I have read is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass, Book two in the Court of Throne and Roses series. It's got to be a better title for that. Um, but a book I have not read yet is the next one, Court of Wings and Ruin, also by Sarah J. Mass. This is book three and kind of ties up the first trilogy of that world. I'll get there. Question five is a comedy. So I would probably say Big Bang Theory, I would class more as a comedy than a drama. Yeah, so that's the one I would go with on Netflix. But a, a book that is funny. This was a little worrying. I don't actually read many comedy books. I, I just... I I don't. So um, I would lump, probably lump with the, the, the classic the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, or even Dirk Gently, which is just so weird. Also on Netflix, so go and check that out. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with those two. Go for some Douglas Adams, because you can't go wrong with him. Question six is drama. Uh, a character that is a drama queen. I actually actually go and look up what this trope meant because I wasn't certain, which kind of shows you that I don't really take those kind of things into account when I read a book. But um, one of the suggestions was Anna Green Gables by Elton McGonery. Now, I love Anne. I think she's fabulous, and I thought she was very much like me as a kid, which is slightly worrying now. But Anne tends to react to things very over the top, very dramatically in her life until she decides to sort of start settling down a bit and feels confident in who she is. But there we go. So I chose Anna Green Gables for that one. I think if I was going to go for a drama on Netflix, oh, I don't know. Um, no, I can't say I've actually watched much drama at the moment. You know, drama, drama. So I have to pass that one. Let me know. What should I be watching drama-wise on Netflix, please? 
Question seven is cartoons. Um, my boys at the moment are watching How to Train Your Dragon and Lego Ninjago on Netflix. So they are two cartoons. And I've picked a book with a cartoon cover. This is Doctor Who, The Crooked World by Stephen Lyons. Um, I don't know if I still have this book or not. I may have given this away to a friend. I'm not sure. But anyway, as you can see, it's full of references to classic cartoon characters. And it was probably one of my favourite covers. Question eight. Watch again. Um, a series you'd watch all over again on Netflix would be Dirk Gently, season one, because season two starts at the beginning of January. And that is so mind-bogglingly bonkers. It's awesome. But a book series I'd like to read all over again would be St. Mary's Chronicles by Jodie Taylor. This is book one, just one damn thing after another. Just because they're so enjoyable. And they're so easy to read and really quick. But a lot happens in them. And they all hang together really well. The continuity really knows what it's doing, which is great. Highly recommend this series. Question nine is documentaries. So, um, I think the last documentary I actually did watch wasn't on Netflix. It was on the BBC and that was Blue Planet 2. Awesome show. I mean, anything with David Attenborough in it is just amazing. But Blue Planet 2, pretty spectacular. So, this is a non-fiction book I would recommend. I've picked Starring Sherlock Holmes. This was done, done by Dave Stewart Davis, who's like a big Holmes um, guy. He knows what he's talking about. And um, this is pretty much, or was pretty much, the definitive guide to um, Sherlock Holmes on the screen. So we've got things like uh, Basil Rathbone's films are in here it's all in chronological order as well and it's not just the western stuff is here we've got the comedy stuff they may be giants the slightly oddball seven percent solution baker street boys and there are features on the major actors to play Holmes. so this one's got jeremy brett there's peter cushion in here obviously basil rathbone's in here um and it, it's really a really detailed look at Holmes's portrayal throughout the years. Now, unfortunately, like I say, it's not up to date anymore. Um, this was published quite a while ago now. So the last stuff we have in here is The Hound of the Baskervilles and The Sign of Four. Um, these are starring Matt Frewer, if I'm right. Yes, Matt Frewer. And they were done for the BBC. There we go, back in 2000 and 2001. So it's, you know, a decade now out of date. Obviously it doesn't cover Benedict Cumberbatch at all and Sherlock and Elementary and anything like that, which is a real shame. I'd love to see this done up to date. Yes, there are two covers. There's this one with Jeremy and this one with Basil. This is my favourite though. So there are. So if you're a big Holmes fan and you've not come across this one, um, I would say check it out because it's, it's beautifully done. Question 10 is action and adventure. Can I put the expanse in that one again? Star Trek even. Um, but book wise, uh, for this I've picked Skull Dragon Pleasant book three, Faceless Ones. These are written by Derek Landy. Um, this one, you kind of need to know what's gone on in the previous book, but you can read it by itself. It's okay. But it's not that it's like an action story like, say, um, James Rowling's rights or Matthew Riley. But there's a lot at stake in this one. The The cost of things keeps getting higher and higher and there are great uh, dire consequences going on. So I really did enjoy this one. And question 11 is new releases. So obviously for Netflix, season two of Dirk Gently is coming out. Um, and I can't wait for that. So that's the Netflixy one. But new release or soon to be released book that I'm looking forward to. Now I've already got a lovely long TBR list of books coming out next year that I want to read but I've picked the earliest one which is Gunslinger Girl. This is written by Lindsley L.A. Um, and I haven't read much western books before. Um, it's something my granddad used to read an awful lot of so it'd be nice to encounter a western style book with uh, a person of colour as the lead which is something I'm trying to uh, read more of. Um, read outside, not my comfort zone I suppose. 
and it just sounds quite um, exciting and interesting so I'm kind of looking forward to that one coming out and reading that but obviously there's loads of books coming out next year and I have done um, a TBR list for next year and what I want to read which if I can find it I'll put the link down below for you so we are that is my Netflix book tag if you want to do it please let me know you're doing it down below so I can go and visit your blog or your YouTube channel and watch it that would be great uh, as always, my social media links are in Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter in the description box down below. So please come over and say hi, that'd be great to see you. I would like to say thank you very much to all my new subscribers out there. It's lovely to see so many people wanting to hear what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. I promise it won't go to my head. And as always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye.